<laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to Lake Door Locker Room. I'm your host Gary Franklin and with me today I have David Downs. Hey, how you doing? Greg. How you doing? Seth. Seth? How you guys doing? Pretty good. How are you? Yeah. Alright. <laughs> That's good. Um, how did you guys get started swimming? Uh, actually, uh, Greg, t Greg talked me into it. He wanted me to join my freshman year. So I joined. <laughs> Greg, how do you feel being an influence on this guy? Yeah, it feels great because he's like a good, really good swimmer and I'm proud of him. <laughs> How'd you get started? I started when I was like uh, three years old and started competitive swimming when I was like eight at the YMCA in Birmingham. And I decided to come here when I came to high school, so just tried out and made it and swam. Mm. Is that the best age to start, like really young, maybe about five? Somewhere? Yeah, that's when you should get into it if you want to be real good. But most people, you know, can get a pretty good season if they start in a freshman year or whatever. Mm -hmm. They can turn out pretty well. How many players do you guys have on the team? About 20, 21. Yeah. I heard you guys don't have that many seniors. How many do you have? One. Just one. <laughs> <laughs> Just one senior? Yeah. yeah. Corey Shedden, he's our best swimmer right now. Mm. So he he's, should carry the team with all the juniors we have this year, too. We're really, we should have a good season. Does he help you out a lot? Yeah, we're going to miss him a lot next year. He's a really good swimmer. Yeah. We need his, like, butterfly to help us through. Like, he's our best butterfly we have right now. We have, like, two others to take us place next year, though. Is there a good relationship between the swimmers and the coach? Yeah, we got a new coach this year, and she's really cool, Kelly. Yeah, I like her. Yeah, she's cool. She's working us pretty hard so far our first week. And we're having a lot of fun. Dave, how do you like the new coach? I like her a lot. She, uh, she yeah, she's nice. <laughs> do you guys learn from one another? Yeah, I mean, we always learn from each other. I mean, take Seth here, man. <laughs> he's my influence. <laughs> he's only a sophomore, and he's really good. <laughs> That's just about. <laughs> What do you think it takes to make the perfect swimmer? Good technique, really. Uh, <laughs> I, don't really I don't know, really. Good Great. A lot of work. A lot. I mean, in the morning, swim before, swim after school, it's a lot of work. Oh, yeah. Um, I was going to ask about your practices. I heard that they're, like, really early in the morning. 5.30 we're here in the morning. Yep, 5.30, and we're here tonight. At until like 5, 5.30. 5.30? Do you think it's really worth it? Yeah, I mean, if you get really into it, it's good. Mm. I mean, it's a healthy, really healthy sport. Other than laps, what other kind of exercises do you guys do? Uh, we lift in the mornings now, lifting weights every other day now. Mm. Do you guys swim outside of here, like during the summer? I have a pool in my backyard, so I try to put in a few laps now and then. But I don't have—I don't swim competitively, competitively during the summer. No. What high school do you think is your hardest competition? Uh, Rochester Adams. Yeah, they're probably the hardest ones right now. Really? I think Etzel Ford. How come? Well, they got a really big team, and they're like always good at everything, <laughs> basically. <laughs> How many meets do you have before the playoff season begins? Usually about 15 to 20 meets we'll have, you know, including relays and dual meets. We usually have about 20 before the regionals and prelims and state. What kind of preparations do you make before a game? Stretching, a lot of mental exercises to get your mind into your event. Um, stretching, that's about it. Don't do that much. Well, there's different kind of, I know they're like, I know there's freestyle, uh, backstroke, and I know there, there are a few other ones, aren't there? Yeah, uh, breaststroke and butterfly. <laughs> I can't remember. <laughs> Is that it? Yeah. Do you have an idol or someone that you pattern your style after? I kind of look, I kind of want to be like uh, one of our old seniors that graduated, Todd Van Heeren. He swam the 500, and I kind of liked the way he looked. I wish I could be like him. Kind of oh, okay, great. I had a really old idol of Mike Schuler. I mean, I didn't really know him. My sister did, but I saw him swim, and he was, like, just awesome. His name's up on the board, and I just, he's kind of like my idol, I guess. 
Uh, I'd have to agree with Greg there. Mike Schuler is mine. Then he used to live down the street from me. I used to swim with him in the summer and in the winter. We used to like know each other pretty well. And we used to play basketball and we talk a lot. So Mike Schuler is my idol. Has swimming influenced you in any way? Like made you more disciplined? Yeah, it does. It makes you think about your time, schedule your time better. Uh, makes you work harder, keeps you in shape, and like you think you have to keep your grades up, otherwise you'll slip, and then you can't swim anymore because you, your grades aren't well enough, so you can't swim. What about you, Greg? I have to agree with Seth. I mean, like it's a lot of work, but it's worth it all. And yeah, it's a lot of discipline. All right, Greg, Dave. It's pretty hard getting up in the morning. You learn value and what you really want to do. It's but you uh, really get an enjoyment out of it, at least I do. And go ahead. <laughs> do you guys participate in any other sports other than swimming? Yeah, I do track in the I do track and cross country in the other seasons, so my year is pretty much full. Which I I do cross country in the spring and track in the fall. Great. I kind of ran a little track last year, but I didn't make it all the way through. I just kind of said, hey, you know, I was tired. I made it all the way through the swim season, so I didn't finish it. I'll probably go out this year for it again, though. Yeah. I probably commit all my time to swimming. I, I play basketball and tennis and all that, those, those little sports for recreation, but swimming is my main high school sport. Which one do you participate in the most uh, out of swimming and the ones that you name? Oh, swimming <laughs> the most, yeah. I love it. It's great. Dave? Mm -hmm. What was the question? I asked which one would you like participating in the most out of swimming and track and country? Well, I really, I like, sw I love swimming a lot because it's when I, I do best, or it's not actually what I do best, but I swam since I was a freshman and I really enjoy it, but I do cross country very well. Do you guys think you might swim in college? Uh, yeah, I, I'd like to. I don't know what kind of college I'm going to go to yet, so I'd like to, though. Sir? I'd like to, but I probably wouldn't unless I got a scholarship in swimming. See, I don't think there's really a reason to swim in high school unless I had a scholarship. Do you think you have a strong team this year? Yeah, I think we have a real strong team. I was surprised the number of freshmen that came out for the team, and most of them are turning out to be pretty good. I was really surprised. We should have a good, strong team. You guys have a chance at the playoffs, maybe? Yeah, actually. Probably we do. Uh, we got a lot of new freshmen, like Dave said, and I'm surprised that a lot of them haven't quit yet. That's good. I mean, we got a really strong team this year. With only one senior, I think we're going to do really good. Do you guys have any advice or a technique that you might want to pass on to one of our viewers? If uh, you're interested in joining the swim team, you know, come out. We need you. If you uh, feel you can do any good or you want to just enjoy, have some fun, you know. Come on out, we'll need, we need you. Greg, you got any advice? Well, yeah, I mean, it's a really good sport. It's a very healthy sport. I mean, I, don't, I can't think of any other sport that you use every single muscle. Uh, it's a lot of work, but it's all worth it. It's a really good sport, too. I mean, I like it a lot. Sir? I agree with Greg there that it works all your muscles. It's a good sport if you want to work all your muscles. Um. If you're gonna swim, so you wanna swim seriously. If you wanna improve, you gotta put on a lot of hours and practice hard if you wanna get any better. Um, that's pretty much all. All right, that sounds real good. Well, I wanna thank you guys for coming on my show. And I wanna wish you guys the best of luck, Dane. You too. Greg, Thanks a lot. you're welcome. That's Seth. And this has been Gary Franklin with Late Thurber Locker Room. See you next time. I'm gonna turn over the mic a while to Steven Mendelson. Stevie's here. This is Steve Mendelson here covering the spot for a lev. Looks like Latrum's out to a lead right now. Looks like it. Southfield High is close behind. Here at the uh, 
swimming complex section of the Sophie Lathrop Palladium Coliseum complex. And it starts to get slow here. It looks like uh, looks like the slow guys pulled up last and the fast guys finished first. Who's in exhibition here? Sixth place. Lathrop took sixth place. Fifth place got to go to something high there. Lunsford took fourth place for Lathrop. Lair took Lathrop's, uh, Lair took third place for Lathrop. Second place went to Zao. The Southfield I took first place here in this exhibition match, but it doesn't count for any point Indecisive. value, so it doesn't matter. Indecisive. that they, uh, they modeled this swimming, this, uh, swimming pool after the Roman Flavian Amphitheater? That's true, you know, that's, it's questionable as to its origins, but some people think that. And here's Ori Levin. The next event, the 500-yard freestyle. 20 length freestyle, the longest event of the night. It's grueling, it's tough. And now, uh, what, are the, what do the swimmers do to pass their time? It must get boring. Well, you know, first of all, though you do keep count in your head, you have these counters over here at the end of the pool to help you keep track of There's how many lengths you have left. There. You play mind games, you think of your girlfriend, you think of your grades, philosophize. The meaning of life is what you think about during the 500 yard freestyle. They're off. And uh, the swimmers for Lathrop in lane one are not Esters. Lane three, Todd Van Heeren, a small guy. He's a bit of a disadvantage in this race, but oh, he's, he's an a excellent he's swimmer. A and uh, in lane five, Greg Kyer. Not one of Lathrop's stronger events tonight, but we'll see what they can pull out. Again, Greg Kyer is the kind of guy who can surprise us, give us an extra strong race. legend in his own time when he used to swim. And they're off for the backstroke. Another weak, weak event, I would think, for Lathrop. Yeah, they're counting on. Very decisive on, in these last few minutes. Oh, very important now with it all tied up. Chip Waits and Kirby Shedden have to come through. And in fact, Chip is winning right now. And a strong race from him. And Lathrop is an incredible showing. I may be wrong. I thought they wouldn't do too well. But these young boys are just giving it their all. At the end of the first 50, it's Lathrop in first. Southfield High second. Oh, I can't tell. I think Lathrop's got a third. Southfield High's got a fourth. And Lathrop's got a fifth. And coming down into the last turn of the event. Lane three for Lathrop. Corey Chip Waits is 